Uh, what kind of services do you provide? <laughs> what do you think, silly? <laughs> like... Love, of course. Hot and vulgar with me. Or <laughs> sweet and sincere with my sister. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezoberranzan love trick. <laughs> oh, dude, that is gross. I am leaving. Okay, I am leaving. Guys, they're brother and sister. You get a permanent buff? Wait, you get stat bonus? I'll do anything for a stat bonus. <laughs> Wait, is there actually a buff? You guys aren't, I thought it was a joke. There's, there's a Oh my gosh, you, okay. My, my. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment. Of pleasure. Don't be shy. Hi, Jennifer. I used to work as a courtesan back home, and my sister as an artisanal masseuse. But men are treated like dogs by the underdarks matriarchs, so we fled. We found I'm a paladin and have to keep things holy. Drow, but like plus five drow. strength is plus five strength. <laughs> Life is easy in our True. line of work. Found servicers crave the body of a drow like a drug. Life is easy in our line of work. Are you sure this is where you want to be? It was not my work itself that has ever been a challenge to me. Merely the circumstances. I worked in this business in the Underdark, but it grew to festering monotony. The entirety of drow culture is obsessed with bondage beyond reason. While such activities have their charms, I yearned to reach greater depths. <laughs> And there is no society on this planet more laterally, imaginatively, and confusingly depraved as that of Baldur's Gate. Although of late, I do feel like I've seen everything. Perhaps you'll show me something new. One is the rational answer. Guys, there's a problem with one. The one is, I would never say that. These four words, I can't judge you. I would literally never say those four words. I'm a paladin, okay? I literally invented judgment. Yeah, I judgment on cooldown, okay? Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezoberranzan love trick. You two look uncannily alike. I'm gonna say this first. We are twins. You don't actually lie with one another, do you? Oh my gosh. Are you at the risk of inbreeding? Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Ew, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Delicious! I thought this said leave. It was one word and I didn't even read it. I didn't even read number four because I thought it just said leave because it was one word. <laughs> That's disgusting. Dude, what is this game, dude? This is so... Dude, what is this game? Guys, what is what is this chat? What is wrong? 80% of you are saying delicious? You guys are freaking trolls, dude. Our bodies will haunt your dreams. I have to take my headphones off. This is... Carlock disapproves. You guys are effed in the A, chat. You guys are effed in the head. Are you kidding me? Esfin, what are you doing? Hey, Bonnie. This is... No, you're about to be F today. Okay, I'm... <sighs> we will only allow that if we know there is an evening of exceptional pleasure awaiting us. Usually, one darling alone is not enough to match the two of us. Return to us if you have a lover willing oh to take Oh my part. gosh. I barely got a moment to sleep last night. And no, not in Who's that human boy insisting on playing his acoustic loop version of High House of Wonders? Guys. Uh, they all said no, I already asked them. I don't understand why there's such a type for so Do it for the stat bonus. Almost pleasant, traveling with company. 
if you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. The Sharns are using a place called the House of Grief. Is that what this is? I thought this was called the House of Grief, okay? The, like, a brothel is not a happy place, okay? I just assumed it was called the House of Grief. <laughs> is this the nymph? What is this? Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a tick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. Is he pretending to be shy? It's not being shy. It's I don't want my mom to open the stream and it's freaking weird stuff. Okay. I'm at work, Espen. Also, people are watching the stream at work. Type one if you're in the office right now. Hang on a trick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. One and I voted four. <laughs> One, I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> You're talking to Yannis every other than them. I bet she's put you up to something. Uh, she asked me to find Lorgan's real killer, seeing as you can't be bothered. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. The what office I am in has a black leather couch. <laughs> it seems fitting. Thanks, Johnny Silverhand. Remind me of Devella. If you doubt my conclusions, I, I found the murder weapon you missed in a tunnel under the temple. That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? I work at Walmart and I have your stream playing on all the TVs. Oh god. Why was Lorgan killed? I assume for the same reason as all other people on the target list to gain Ball's favor. Really? You as well? Devella's been harping on about Ball for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods while up in fear mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one. <laughs> even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. <laughs> What's your theory? I didn't think about balls being balls until just now. <laughs> Not a theory. I have proof. This document contains information connecting the murders to the ballist <laughs> resurgence. No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Develler is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since <laughs> you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Wait, I have so many lower city passes. I should sell them. Well, what are you waiting for? You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! I like how this character is like the elephant with the wine glass. I'm gonna go here. I'd love to, thanks. Cause this is where this is where we were stuck in before. You see the twins' favor? They said no. Oh yeah. Rules of the reading room. This is the reading room? Anyone caught pleasuring themselves in the library will be tethered to the bookcase of chained books. Any wizards caught examining this special collection without express permission will be commanded to read aloud the whole library the passage they were enjoying. Anyone breaking the silence of the library will be promptly gagged. Black flare leather outfit, strap choker leather outfit, green flare leather outfit. <laughs> What the hell? The female version of this looks cool. The male version is hilarious. Fionn's journal. Look, 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 look. Fionn's journal. Gosh, I want to read it. Not pick it up. He's getting worse. The whispers, night the whispers, the night terror is the blood. I know he's hiding something. The others in the flop house know it too. 
I've seen how they look at him, how they look at me. They're scared of him, and I can't blame them. I am too. They're talking about his son. Dog collar. Silver glass. Oathbreaker. What Oathbreak? Roll book. A, B, C, E, the lichens and me. What's inside? Roll books. One night in Nashgill. The cover of this pulp erotica describes the contents. After months of imprisonment in the Nashville mines, Enchanter Zan cannot bear his solitude any longer and decides to pleasure himself with the only companion he has, his sentient sword, the Moonblade. <laughs> what the hell is this game, dude? The Cortisune. The one that got a Thay. The text written on the back of the smut advertises it. A slow-paced enemies to lovers tale featuring a bitter arc wizard of Thay and his nemesis, a pure-hearted muscled berserker. Okay, we're leaving. Where's the rest of that book? <laughs> that sounds like a good book to me. Oh, this room, I didn't see this room. I didn't like Baldur's Gate 3 at first, but then I started to play it. I see how you're addicted to this, man. It's so good, man. Yeah, I was kind of the same way. I didn't, I did not like it, but like the game definitely like, like ramped up real hard. The beginning was good enough to keep me playing, and then halfway, not even halfway, but like maybe a third of the way through Act One, I was like, okay, this game is actually sick. Oh look, this this place looks cool. A sword, leather armor, cool. Shara's caress room key. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Time to press ahead. You need only think of me. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Why are we here? Tell me, am I beautiful? More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. What? Why did this you happen? You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Sweet on my tongue. Yes, man, this is not my, my fault. Skin. I didn't do this. And salvation. <laughs> Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph <laughs> through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. What's up, guys? Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. <clears throat> what's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you... Wait. I know you. Um, uh, looks fun. Mind if I join? Whoever you think I am, you're mistaken. This looks personal. I should leave. Man. Chat, they're not. This isn't. I bet this this makes them angry. If anything, mission failed. We'll get them next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like surely that's not a. You know. I I think they're gonna get angry. I most certainly do. Jara is the most valued. Your face. The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this man? Wait, what? Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. Wait, what? What? Shoot him. What the frick? By the nine hells, that's not good. No, it is not. Um. I got this. Let's do flurry of blows. Not to no failure. Yeah. 
Wait, what? Lanzo just owned them. What the frick? Ruby ring. Wait, so what happened? My mind. And, well, in it. At some point, I might have to play this one. I. It is so good. Hells. I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. It stings Blood like a bee. shimmers like silver. They are beautiful indeed and most lethal. Wait, what is she talking about? Is she, like, what? I'm... Like, is she like, yeah, is she like turned on? No, I know what she's talking about, but what I'm saying is like, what, like, what's wrong with her? Is it not in the Elithid's barbarity that we find its splendor? Your eyes are no less monstrous, I assure you. A lesser woman might be frightened, but I am no lesser woman. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. What? <laughs> they turn you on? Disgusting. <laughs> the creature aroused you? Why should I deny it? My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. What do you have in mind? Rapture. Close your eyes and listen. Bioshock? Close your eyes and listen. Shh. Wait. What I hit? Free your mind. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it. Warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all-being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will Yo. be? <laughs> what? Yo. <laughs> What will you be? Chat, what do you guys want? Powerful? You are more than powerful. An emperor to emperors. Your head adorned with a crown of gold, diamond, and ruby. The heavens tremble with the steps of your army. All beasts, all men and women, all creatures of the plains bow to your might. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I remember you, and you'll remember me. Did I get a buff? Rapture. Affected entity has a 1d6 bonus to attack rolls and village can save it. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, only until the ne next long rest. Another step forward. That's huge! You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael, for the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. 
Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> What's happening? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Um, I feel empty. What did you do? I gave you back your privacy by shutting that illithid in your pocket. Out of your mind. It can't hear us. Huh. What's the catch? Speak freely. Tell me why you brought me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Hmm. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. The astral prism? In a manner of speaking. But it's the one inside the prism that you need, not the elithid, the gith. I can give you the means to break him free. Huh. Speak, devil. We're listening. Why would I want to free him? I suppose you'd rather suck on the Emperor's tentacles till the end of your days? <laughs> Orpheus is your only hope of surviving this horror show <laughs> without devolving into an illithid. To you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. All the evidence I've seen suggests Orpheus is my enemy and the Emperor my ally. If I'd realized you were so gullible, I'd have tricked you into selling your soul for a pocket full of beans when we first met. <laughs> to the Emperor, you are nothing more than a beast of burden. I'm One no that will transport it to the Elder Brain. An ox requires food and the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. It's true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain, but if it proves uncooperative once free, you may... I feel like we shouldn't do it. Just because he tells you how doesn't mean you have to do it, but you'll still have the option. Hmm... Okay, let's just know how. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. It's very convenient that you have exactly what I need. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. There it is. Of course. What are you hoping to get out of all this? Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir. Want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. 
A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilil. Do not take that deal. Do not promise the crown to him. What is the crown? Power. Ancient and full of wonder. Ignore him. Take the deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have craved it ever since the arch wizard Cassus created it long <laughs> centuries ago and brought doom to the empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. The ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils and that I could use that crown to unite the nine under one archdevil supreme, me. <laughs> Zariel wouldn't like that much. But even I'm not so desperate to spite her, I'd put the hells in this bastard's hands. The idea of you ruling all nine hells doesn't fill me with joy. The hells require order to function. It is what separates us from mortals and demons. With the crown, I would impose perfect order, unity, efficiency, control. My kingdom would control its borders and stay within them. Where has that crown been? Now, why haven't you gotten a hold of the crown already? It was stolen from right under my nose all those centuries ago. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged, but only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen who have caused you so much trouble accidentally did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Hmm. It must really annoy you that some mortals managed to steal the crown when you couldn't. Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive. I must admit, but they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the Brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. 
<laughs> Wait, we're going to do what? It's a simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvah! We should do as the devil Skvah. asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. I think I would say I'd rather destroy the crown. No deal? Either no deal or destroy the crown. I, I don't know. One or the other. Maybe I don't tell him that I'll destroy the crown. Maybe I just... Ooh, look at all this. You guys would agree? I don't think I'm going to agree. Also, is it not an oath break to make a deal with uh, the devil? I'm going to say no deal. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So, don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. Okay. The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? I don't trust the devil. The Orphic Hammer is probably worthless. I'm not about to let Raphael become Archdevil Supreme. Why? Is he any worse than Asmodeus, do you suppose? The reigning serpent. He who harvests souls to fight an unwinnable blood war. Worse than Mephistopheles, the devil who slayed his own son. He whose experiments threatened to melt his own frozen throne. <sighs> Your mind is made up. But there's another option. Glory be to the comet. The devil keeps the Orphic hammer in his lair. If we can find a way in, we can take it. I'll use it to smash the truest <laughs> the rope is in the way. Yisk, Githka, Tafki, crash it. The Githyanki will be free. First to Voss, then to Raphael's House of Hope. Just don't expect a lavish spread awaiting us this time. Okay. Maybe we do do that then. That's our goal for the next time of Baldur's Gate. Okay. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed Baldur's Gate. I hope you guys enjoyed Baldur's Gate today. We made some decent progress in the short amount of time we played. We're gonna keep going with some more Baldur's Gate. Like I said before, we're mixing up everything. We're, we're playing Cyberpunk, we're playing Baldur's Gate, we're playing all these other games all at the same time on stream. So uh, again, everything is SFAN TV, YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter, X, Threads, TikTok. If it exists, it's SFAN TV. Come join the Discord. Uh, check the YouTube community posts. I've been posting things on the community posts. I've started doing that. I'm doing a lot more stuff there. I'm posting on the Instagram stories whenever I'm live. I'm trying to do a lot more things in general. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, make sure to like everything, follow everything, uh, turn on your notifications as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game. Let me know what you think about the videos. Uh, I read pretty much everything on YouTube. So I, I read almost every comment. So uh, yes, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time.